the uh, it's going to be about the Amigo 2 SE for single element. And uh, you're here with Charles Fabi, myself, uh, Ahmed Swidi, and uh, Noah Johnson, so uh, the core of ACFM team here in Quebec. And uh, uh, cheers, everybody. Uh, uh, we're going to have a coffee together today, whatever, if you're on the evening or uh, in the morning where you sit. So what we're going to talk about this morning is uh, we're going to show a quick introduction to the new option that we have at Edify, which is the Go to SE. Um, we're, it's, a, it's just a new option that we released uh, very lately, and uh, we're going to cover the applicative relevance of it uh, being a single element version of the Amigo 2. And we're, go we're also going to cover the optimized well inspection workflow, which is quite unique to uh, ACFM, and uh, demonstrate it afterwards. Ahmed uh, Sweetie is going to do that with us. All right, quick introduction to the Amigo 2SE. Before we talk about that option, uh, just a quick reminder of what the Amigo 2 is. Of course, uh, the Amigo 2 is our um, top side instrument for ACFM at Edify. It's been out since 2018. It shares a platform, uh, proven platform, uh, touchscreen, high performance, uh, very rugged, very portable as well, very easy to carry in the field uh, that we have for most of our um, techniques here at Edify. It covers a lot. Uh, you know, you can do uh, underwater inspection with uh, with the underwater probes, similar to what's been done underwater with ACFM for several years. And uh, we have the standard range of Sensu 2 probes as well. Some specific applications, uh, probes like the high temperature probe that you see here, the uh, thread inspection probe you see there. And also we add array probes. So in, in, a lot of things can be covered with our uh, single element probes, of course, uh, but then array probes is just uh, an opportunity to go faster. So we're talking about the underwater uh, array probe that can save, I uh, would say, uh, you a lot of time instead of doing the butt welds and three detection passes, you're going to do that in one pass. Same thing here with this well probe and with our array probes. So. The Amigo 2 SE is pretty much the same, uh, except that it only supports the single atom probes. So still pretty good application uh, coverage. And also, you know, uh, the same connectors on the side, so the same compatibility with the legacy probes, the Sensu probes, which is the uh, uh, another generation of probe, and the current generation uh, Sensu 2 probes. <clears throat> now, Let's talk about the relevance of that option. Um, <clears throat> of course, you know, in general at Edify, we like high performance. So we, uh, we believe in uh, high performance array probes, but still, in some cases, you may, uh, you know, have uh, simpler needs, you know, that a single error probes may be okay. And what makes ACFM probes unique in the sense that it, it's still high performance anyways? We need to start talking about the detection. So uh, ACFM probes are quite unique in the way they, even the single element ones, cover quite a wide uh, uh, area one, in one scan. Uh, one thing to note is that detection scans, you know, count for about 95%, roughly, you know, can be more or less, but 95% of the inspection time is, goes into detection scans. So it really matters to have a high performance detection uh, workflow. Very good thing to note as well is that, especially in carbon steels or ferromagnetic steels, if, even the single element uh, ACFM probes do dual axis detection. So even the transverse track is going to be detected. So you don't have to scan twice, you know, for uh, let's say a tool. Um, about detection coverage, we're talking about for, I would say, the most common probe, 15 millimeter wide. So uh, if you look at this, uh, this is a representation of uh, the standard uh, straight single element probe uh, with the fields, you know, the uh, uniform fields. You get a crack here. If you come within uh, seven millimeters from the center, you're going to detect most cracks. So what that means in the end is that for most wells, if you look on the right here, on most wells, just three detection scans going to be enough to have full coverage and make sure you don't miss a crack. 
So one on the first toe, one on the uh, weld cap, and another one on the, the other toe. Of course, uh, an array probe will help uh, cut this time in, in, in one third because you cover the whole thing in one pass, but still, it's pretty good, especially if you get uh, cases uh, that are more difficult to negotiate with array probes. The other thing that makes ACFM very relevant, even in single element form, is how fast scans can be done while still getting good data. So uh, that, that's explainable, of course, with uh, the high performance electronics and display uh, that characterize the Amigo 2. Uh, you see an example here for a uh, gear inspection, one man operation, very quick scans. Now, you know, he's, he's uh, rescanning to confirm what, he, what he's detected already. But you know the detection scans are, are quite can be quite fast. That's explainable uh, by the electronics. If you look, for instance, the older generation of instruments, so that's the predecessor of the Amigo 2, and the uh, some of our uh, some of the other uh, you know equipment out there, uh, you can't go as fast. The main the reason is the electronics. Even with the array probes, for instance, uh, if you try to run array probes. Uh, with slower electronics, in the end, it's not going to be faster than that. Uh, those uh, high uh, fast scanning single element probes. The fact that the quality is high uh, on the data, the SNR is high, enables that as well. So even when you go fast, you're still going to see a very nice butterfly. The butterfly itself, which is uh, quite unique to uh, ACFM, is going to make every uh, every crack stand out quite quite obviously. So Quick look at the screen, you see that butterfly, uh, you know it's a crack. And also knowing that ACFM is intrinsically forgiving, meaning that it can tolerate imperfect scan positioning, uh, imperfect probe placement, uh, makes it ideal for uh, for fast scans. You're still going to see the, the flaws anyways. Uh, the, the other uh, important uh, aspect of the single element uh, ACFM probe is that they're really simple and robust, uh, and also very versatile. So, looking at the uh, most most of the construction that we have here here at uh, Edify, you're looking at very simple uh, probe that you can place in tight areas, made out of uh, uh, ceramic, so very solid, very durable. Uh, if you look to inspect some quite complex geometries, like what we're going to see in the demonstration from Ahmed a bit later. Uh, they they are quite relevant as well. Uh, you know, the, the larger ray probes in some cases cannot go there, uh, cannot be placed uh, properly in those uh, tight areas. So uh, you still have these uh, these uh, smaller probes to place around the uh, the more complex geometries. Uh, something else that makes those uh, the Amigo 2 SE version very relevant is that it still covers a wide range of <clears throat> I'm sorry a wide range of applications <clears throat> so uh, although you cannot push you know the, the scanning performance to, to what our array, uh, array probe range can you can still do them uh, with much more efficiency than you would let's say with uh, conventional edicrons or uh, MPI or penetrant testing and those applications cover you know underwater, uh, the, uh, this is an example here for uh, uh, offshore rigs. It's not limited to that. It can be uh, a lot of other structures. Start thinking about uh, uh, the monopiles on the wind turbine or a ship hull, uh, that kind of stuff. Moving here to something which is uh, more representative of the structural world inspection, like the cranes, the hoist equipment, uh, bridges, and all that. So. Any anytime you see uh, a structure with ha which has those structural wells that are prone to fatigue cracking are relevant. This is a good example as well uh, on the uh, transport. We're talking about tank cars here on the uh, on railways. Uh, these components are quite complex to inspect. You know, you don't see all the details in here, but uh, a lot of geometry, a lot of wells to inspect, which are difficult to access that have very tight geometries. High temperature inspection, which is a, uh, I would say, a unique feature of ACFM, uh, the ACFM uh, physics, uh, can also be done. We have the, this example of an air-cooled 
uh, ACFM probe that uh, can be used to either, let's say, uh, uh, support hot tap uh, operations or uh, to minimize the cool down in weld interpass, uh, in interpass welding, let's say. So instead of cooling down, do your inspection with MPI, heat up again, you can use a probe like this one to minimize that. Threads as well, the main application we have for threads is the uh, uh, drill string, thread inspection, and the uh, drilling operations, and also gears, as, you, as you've seen, mainly in the mining industry. So all that can be done with single MM probes with huge advantages on top of the uh, conventional methods. All right, something else which is key for uh, the relevance of single element ACFM is the optimized workflow in the software. As this is our uh, ACFM software, and uh, it, it's designed to be so efficient with uh, weld inspection. Uh, first thing to, to mention is that you get there, you don't need to do any side calibration. Uh, calibration is done at the factory, which means you carry the, your box around and you're ready to inspect right away. Uh, so the scans, uh, you press a button uh, or two and then you're ready to scan. And uh, same thing for sizing. When you have detection, you can start sizing without doing any calibration. The process is quite efficient. Uh, the overall workflow is also tailored for weld inspection. So uh, the way we generate results makes, makes the results very easily auditable uh, afterwards. So if you look at uh, this is basically where you will define during your inspection, you will define what you're inspecting and uh, what type of scan is, is it toe one, toe two, and all that is separated in pages afterwards that you know when you review data, it's very, very clear. Although when you look at a component, it looks very complicated. And, and you may do several different scans to, to check, uh, to, to, to perform the full inspection. When you're doing the actual uh, work itself as well, uh, everything is set up for easy operation, very efficient. So you can do it from probe buttons, you can do it from the touchscreen interface or from hard buttons right on the Amigo 2 as well. So uh, makes for a uh, quite easy, uh, you know, inspection uh, workflow depending on where you are. We also have, uh, you know, a uh, clock or marks uh, that makes the review of data very clear. Now talking about uh, still the uh, assist optimized workflow. If we think about inspection planning, which is a feature that is designed, that was first designed, if you look on the right here, on the left, I'm sorry, it was first designed for uh, making possible uh, uh, an acceptable workflow for uh, the tank cars. So uh, tank cars are quite complex. You know, they, the drawings uh, of the, the, the welded components are quite complex and everything has to be followed in an optimized way. So we've developed a tool in the software, which uh, we call inspection planning. Uh, so you can think of, uh, let's say, uh, different tank car models that comes a little bit like cars. Let's say you have a Chevy to inspect or you have a Ford to inspect, you'll have inspection plans for those that you, that you pre-program uh, and then you preload before you do the inspection. Makes the whole inspection process much more uh, streamlined. Of course, it was developed for this, but uh, can also be used for uh, other structures, thinking about uh, the ship structures, for instance, uh, the inside uh, welding of, of ships uh, is quite complex. Same thing with uh, uh, gussets. Let's say uh, you're on the component where there's several gussets and you just want to make each of these gussets inspection much more efficient. And this is actually what we're going to demonstrate with Ahmed afterwards, a component exactly like this one. So how does inspection planning work? Um, so we basically get the drawing so this is uh, an example for uh some complex components you see this this uh so you will program in our software so this is what the interface looks like it's very simple at the end so you basically list which weld uh, you're going to inspect after the other uh, that can be done in the comfort of your laptop or your uh your your pc in the office and then when it's done you can upload to uh, the machine 
and uh, it's really the goal, uh, very easy to uh, to do overall. So that's key, you know, that, that's a key feature here to, to make the uh, inspection of complex component first very reliable. You know you're never going to miss one of the welds and also very efficient. You just click next, everything can be controlled for from the, uh, the probe buttons as well. All right, that's it for me. Uh, ready for a quick demonstration with uh, Ahmed right now. And uh, I'll, leave, uh, I'll leave the microphone to Ahmed. All right. Uh, thanks a lot, Charles. Uh, hello, everybody. And uh, thanks for the presentation. Now I have my Amigo 2 SE. I have a gusset and I have uh, a right angle. Uh, There is an echo. Sorry for that. Okay. Uh, I have a right angle ACM sensor 2 Pro. Uh, here we are going to demonstrate uh, the uh, the use of planning to inspect such complex uh, structure components like the, uh, the gusset. If I look back in the backstage here, I have my plan already loaded. I have the plan for today, and the plan for today will include inspecting uh, multiple components of the gusset as an example. Here I could have inspected seven and eight, I'm, I'm moving now to inspect gusset number nine. And once I select the gusset number nine, I see that all the uh, part IDs of the gusset already loaded in, in my inspection plan. We have the uh, long left well, the long right well, the middle well, short wells, and the rat hole as well. Uh, once I selected the gusset, I can move to the front stage. I will show today the detection uh, scans of the uh, gusset, which is approximately 95% of, of the ACFM work or the inspection work. We do a lot of detection scans. So I'll select my uh, direction. The type is a detection scan. And I'll do it in mixed way because it's easier when you have a complex component like this is to scan the toe one, the cap, and the weld within the same scan so you can. Uh, analyze it uh, more efficiently and easier. So now, if I look at my part ID, you can control your parts here in this uh, menu, or you can control it by next and previous, and also you can move between components uh, from this uh, menu with a single button click. So for the long left well, I'll go, I selected it. I'll run the scan. I'll do my first talk. Post, I'll do my cap. And pause. Then I'll do my second turn. And stop. Now I finish my first part. I'll move to that next part, which is long right weld here. So similarly, I'll do my first turn. Pause, tap, and pause, and then I'll move to the second toe, and stop. This is finished. Next component is left, right, left, uh, short well. Starting the scan, first toe, pause. Cap, pause, and second, go, and stop. Moving to the uh, right, next component is the right short well. Starting the scan, pause, the cap, pause, the second toe, and stop. The next component is the middle weld. We have the middle weld, middle weld here below the rat hole. So I'll put my probe in place and then start it. First toe, pause, 
maybe we can do uh, auto fit to show what we're doing. And the cap and pause. And the second toe. And stop. Now I inspected the most important parts of the gasset. I'll stop here and I'll show you how to do the uh, analysis of the work. So if you look at the pages, the one uh, one of the good parts or one of the good features of the plan is that you have all these scans named with the right part IDs saved, and then you can go back, do the analysis, look at the scan, at the detection scan. You can see that okay, I have a defect in the uh, second toe then I can go to my defect uh, highlighted with uh, my region it's a defect and then go to the sizing that's it That's to show quickly the uh, the plan feature and how we can use it for a quick, fast, uh, and efficient detection of uh, detection scans of a complex uh, component like the gusset, which is very common component in the structure uh, inspection. Thank you so much. Back to you, Shah. Hey, thanks, Amel. Good demonstration here. Thanks. So. Um, <clears throat> we're pretty much done with the demonstration. Um, we're, uh, we'll be ready for any questions you may have. We'll be uh, happy to answer. So uh, I, rem I remind you this is live, so uh, questions you you're asking us right now, uh, we're ready for it, but you know it's live, all right? First question we have here uh, is, can this instrument be used in rope access? Uh, so the instrument is um, is equipped with a harness, uh, so you can wear the instrument, carry on ropes. I would say for uh, for rope access is uh, a bit larger than uh, what we had before, which was the base, but still some of our some of our customers do it with success. Um, other other options that you have with rope access as well is to, to leave this one. On the ground, with uh, if you have uh, two men operating, of course, rope access is usually done with two, at least two persons on the site for security reasons. So, uh, probes can be carried on on long cables. So, um, you know, we have that information elsewhere. So, the purpose of this presentation was not to cover everything in detail. It was real focus on um, on the uh, I mean, go to SC option, which is quite new. Uh, but cables uh, for our normal sensu two probes can be either five meter, which is about uh, 15 feet, um, mm -hmm. 20 meter or so, which is about 65 feet, and then 50 meter, which is about 165 feet. So we're we're international units here, and <laughs> sorry for that. All right. So uh, yeah, rope access it, it's it's doable. Some some of our customers do it. Um, uh, it, it can be worn as well, you know. Uh, on, uh, okay, so yeah, I was about to talk about that. Hi there, is one technician on site sufficient? That's exactly what I was about to say, you know, in the uh, um, while talking about the, the harness, you know, you can use the uh, Amigo tool in rope access. Uh, there's a question here uh, can one okay. Is one technician on site sufficient for deployment of Amigo 2? Yes, the uh, a little bit like I was saying with uh, with rope access, the instrument can be worn. We have a uh, standard harness system that you can attach. You see those? I don't know if you see that right now. Yeah. So we have four points of attach here. There's a harness system which is designed uh, in a way you can actually wear the instrument, and you know, uh, especially with single end and probes. Uh, you can control the inspection with the button on the probe on one end. If you if, if that's not doable for some reason, you can. You also have you know I don't you don't see that right now, but right here on the on right next to the screen, yeah. So uh, 
cards. They see, they see that right now. All right. So you see, uh, you have buttons here, uh, which can control most of the aspects of an inspection. So one probe in your hand, the other on the instrument, and you know, that one man operation is possible for sure. We have another question here. Uh, 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 uh. Can the Amigo 2 SE be upgraded to a RAID version? Yes, it can. Uh, so, you know, uh, I think that's an ideal scheme. If you want to, uh, you know, try uh, ACFM, the uh, best, best version of it with uh, the Amigo 2, you can start with uh, uh, a single element probes and then once you're uh, uh, you get started and, and you're up and running and you figure out, you know, uh, if I would go a bit faster with array probes, that would be best. Um, it's, uh, it's upgradable, yes, very easily. Okay, another question. Some welds are much wider. Can those be covered with single element probes? Uh, yeah, the, the example I gave a bit earlier was about, <clears throat> I would say, what we see in most welds. Uh, so the single element probes can cover most welds in three passes. So one for the toe, a little bit like Ahmed showed us. One for the toe, one for the cap, and one for the other toe. But then I know some welds are a bit larger, and you know we have pretty good training packages and uh, good training uh, partners for ACFM around the world. And you know one of the main things that you learn there is how to cover the, those larger welds. Of course, you see uh, the uh, the, the weld cords, basically, you're, you're going to try to do as many detection scans needed to make sure you get full coverage. So uh, easily doable, of course, the more, the wider the weld, the more you gain in, in going to a, an array version of the system. But still, it's, it's doable and it's still quite, uh, quite efficient compared to uh, the conventional methods like uh, conventional electrons and MPI, penetrant testing, that kind of stuff. All right, so uh, another question here. What is the difference between the Amigo and the Ready? So uh, Amigo and Ready are based on the same platform. So you have the same computer inside, you have the same screen, the same chassis. Uh, but then not only the color is different, there's also uh, the electronics, uh, is a bit different, uh, and the software is quite different as well. So the Ready has electronic support, and you go to is ACFM. So there's fundamental fundamental physics difference between both techniques, and you go is for ACFM, Ready is for electronics. Um, you need you need to see it for yourself, but it, it's uh, it's quite different. And also uh, at Edify. Uh, both, the, both techniques, endocrines and ACFM, are, are uh, usually doing very different things. They're, they're best for some things. Let's say, for instance, uh, each time we have a customer that wants to do pipelines, they want to do uh, stress corrosion cracking, we have a, an amazing probe kit and, and software kit with the ready for that. Um, ACFM could be used for that too, but it's really not what we recommend it for. So really, Amigo 2 is the go-to instrument for uh, most of the structural wells. Like you've seen here, it's really designed tailored for doing structural wells. So that's just one example, but depending on what you want to do, what you want to achieve, what applications are the most interesting for you, we'd recommend going uh, on one or the other. I hope that answers the question. Ah, all right, so how to control, there's another uh, question here, how to control the speed to get a good image? Um, quite frankly, the, uh, with how fast the, the scans can be done with the Amigo 2, uh, most of the time the limit will be, you know, how, how fast and how easy it is to control with your own hand, you know, your dexterity and that kind of stuff. So most of the time that's the limit. Of course, if you, if you uh, do your uh, function check link, let's say, or you, you're getting used to scan flaws, you quickly see if you're really agile, your really, dexterity is really high and you go real fast, you're going to see that the flaws are going to start to look a bit 
chunky. You know, it's going to look like it's it has uh, rough edges. So when you see that, you learn that you know roughly the maximum speed would be uh, like this. Let's say, but I would say you know the sweet spot where we get very good data and it's still fast enough for most cases. I would say between six h inch per second, maybe 150, yeah. 180 yeah. millimeter per second. Yeah, that, that's my personal you. feeling, but. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, the only thing is that when, for detection, yes, I agree with you on this because you're looking for the signature, the, the nice, beautiful signature of the butterfly. Uh, when you do uh, depth sizing, this yeah. is the only case that I would, I would go slower to have nice two yeah, inch per sure. second scan. This is yeah, yeah, a yeah. nice one to have. We didn't talk about sizing too much because yeah. you know here we uh, you know when you have detection, then you know sizing is another thing. Yeah. And ninety five percent roughly of the time you spend doing inspection is on detection scans. But uh, you know uh, I would say I would say it's quite easy and it comes with your your experience with handling probes. Okay. Uh, apparently we're we're uh, out of time now, so we need to leave you today. Thank you so much for attending. Uh, thanks, Noah. Thanks, Ahmed. Thanks, so. It was uh, it was great to meet you this morning with this uh, little coffee break. And be sure to follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube, and uh, you'll see more of those uh, those coffee break with us. So it was great. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good day. Thanks, everybody. Have a nice day.